let's start off with round one of the pattern. You're going to begin with two chains. So that's one chain and two chains. And in the second chain from your hook, you're going to insert eight single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. For round number two, we're going to increase all the way around. So going into that first single crochet, Increase means to insert two single crochets. So let me go ahead and put in one and two. In the next single crochet, I'm also going to increase one and two stitches. And in the next increase, and you are going to repeat this all the way around, so increase in every stitch around. By the time you finish round two, you will have 16 single crochets in this round. When you finish round two, you're going to start on round three and you're going to do a single crochet and an increase all the way around. So here's what it's going to look like. And feel free to use a stitch marker to um, see where your place, um, excuse me, see where the start of your round is, or you can just use your yarn tail and kind of push it forward between the last stitch of the previous round and the first stitch of the next round. So again, we're going to single crochet and increase all the way around. So that's one single crochet and then increase two single crochets in the same stitch. Then you're going to repeat that. So single crochet and increase. single crochet and increase. When you finish round number three, we're going to now start on round four and round four to round seven is going to be the same. You're simply going to insert one single crochet around in every stitch. So um, we're going to just single crochet around one single crochet in every stitch with a total round uh, count of 24 stitches. And let's meet back at the end of round seven. Here I've now finished round seven of the octopus so far. And we're gonna go ahead and continue with round eight. For at round eight, you're simply going to single crochet and decrease all the way around. So here's what it'll look like. A single crochet and then a decrease. Decrease means you're single crocheting two stitches together. A single crochet, oops, and a decrease. If you'd like, you can um, use an invisible decrease as well instead of a regular decrease here. And again, you're just going to repeat this all the way around with a single crochet and a decrease. When you reach the end of the round, you will be back at 16 stitches for the round. 
At this point, um, we're going to now work on the tentacle round, which is round nine. For round nine, you're going to work only in the front loops for this entire round. So the front loops means that instead of going into both loops for um, a regular stitch, you're going to go into the loop that's closer to you, which is this one here. The other loop behind it is called the back loop. So we'll want to work only in the front loops because for round 10, you're actually going to be working in those back loops. So here, first start by inserting a slip stitch into the very first front loop. So I'm going into the first front loop and I'm going to yarn over, pull through for a slip stitch. Then you're going to make a tentacle and a tentacle um, is chain four, one, two, three, four, a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, a slip stitch in the next chain, and a single crochet in the last chain. So here is one little tentacle finished. After you make the little tentacle, you're going to insert your hook into the front loop of the next stitch here. And then you're going to insert your hook into the front loop of the stitch after as well. So now you're in both of the front loops of the next two stitches. And you're going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Ta-da! And you can see that your little tentacle is now firmly attached to the body. So we're going to go ahead and um, repeat a round and this will create a total of eight tentacles. Let me show you a few more. So I'm going to make a tentacle with four chains. That's one two, three, and four. Slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Slip stitch into the next chain. And single crochet in the very last chain. Then you're going to insert your hook into the front loop here, let me show you again. Insert your hook into the next stitch's front loop and insert your hook into the next stitch's front loop. So that's two front loops. Then you're going to yarn over and go through all of these loops. All right, there's two tentacles. Let's keep on going. Chain four to start your next tentacle. Then slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Slip stitch into the next chain. And single crochet into the next chain. Now we're going to go ahead and insert um, the hook into the next stitch's front loop. And again into the next stitch's front loop. Yarn over and pull through all three of those front loops, or all three of those loops, excuse me. And there you have it. So those are three tentacles so far. Again, you're going to just keep repeating the instructions. By the time you reach the end of the round, you'll have eight tentacles on your octopus. So we'll meet at the end of round nine. Here's round nine of my octopus completely finished. And as you can see, um, you'll have all eight tentacles done at this point. It's now a good time to also insert the plastic safety eyes. I put them between round five and round six of the body. And you can use, um, what I'm using here are six millimeter eyes and they're spaced five stitches apart. Now for round 10, what you're gonna do is work in the back loops that were created when you did round nine. So if you look inside the octopus, 
you'll see these um, loops hanging unworked inside. And those are the loops that we're going to work in for round 10. And as you work for round 10, um, you'll want to go ahead and stuff your octopus as well. And it may be easier to stuff it um, during round 10, but not at the very end. At the very end, the hole will be a little too small. So I'll be stuffing it halfway through. Now let's go ahead and work into the unworked back loops here. I'm going to insert my hook into the first unworked back loop. And you're going to work a decrease in the first two stitches. Here I'm single crocheting them together. Now go ahead and decrease all the way around for this round. So I'm going to go into the next two back loops. Like so. For a decrease. Go into the next two back loops. For a decrease. And you're going to do this all the way around. As you can see, when you're decreasing, your octopus's opening is going to start to get very small on the bottom. So now that I have four decreases, I think I want to go ahead and stuff my octopus before it's too late and the hole closes up. I usually use the backs of my hooks to stuff stuffing into my amigurumi. You can do that as well, or you can use a pen, the back of a pen, a chopstick, you can use your fingers if you want. All right, and after you finish stuffing, you're just going to keep working around. So here I am uh, finishing up round number 10 with decreases. And once you've finished with all the back loops that are available um, in the round, we're going to do round 11, which is to decrease around. So I'm going to decrease around normally in these regular stitches here. Decrease. And decrease. And I do want to know if it starts to get too um, small, the hole gets too small to do decreases. What you can also do is cut off your yarn a little early, and like I'm doing here. My instructions are written a little better for uh, working with bulky, or excuse me, blanket yarn, which is usually super bulky um, because it... Oops, there's a little more uh, gap and stretch in those when working with those yarns. So here, what you want to do at the very end is simply just weave in your ends and close up that hole at the very bottom of your octopus, like so. And I'm going to pull my yarn end through the middle. All right, so that cinches up the hole at the very bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and fasten off. Let me get this cut off. All right, and here is the tiny little octopus. 
And it's really fun to make this little guy because as you can see, it's so quick and fast to work up. And it's um, a lot of fun to play with and fidget with. <laughs> and you can actually pull the legs down so it looks like it's standing or kind of like a jellyfish. And you can also prop the legs up like so. Super cute. All right. Hope you make a nice army of these little octopus squishes. And thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Bye now.